Hey everyone, it's Courtney, and today I'm gonna be showing you how to make this really fun, crunchy iceberg slime. It's really fun to just kind of crack on top. And so I'm taking, I had a big gallon of Elmer's glue, and I'm adding in about two to three bottles worth of glue. With these measurements, you don't have to be like super precise, it's not a big deal. And then I'm adding in almost an entire bottle of shaving foam um, and I'm just kind of adding it until the bowl is almost full. You want to leave some room so you can mix it up but the foam is really what's going to make it crunchy on top and allow it to harden. And I'm just going to mix everything together until it's smooth and everything is just evenly combined. This next step is optional, but I'm just adding in a few pumps of baby powder and this is going to give it a really matte finish on top so it's not super shiny. It's going to look more like real ice. You could add in whatever color you want. I'm using some blue food coloring with a little bit of green to give it like a more ice colored look. Of course you could use any single color, but just to make it look like an iceberg, I'm using this. And the shaving foam really absorbs the color, so I had to use a lot of food coloring. You have to just keep adding it in until you get the color that you're going for. Next, you're gonna add in your activator. So for my activator, I'm using one teaspoon of borax mixed in with one cup of warm water, and then just mixing it all together. Don't worry if you're not a borax fan, I have some more borax-free slime recipes coming soon. I'm adding it in a little bit at a time until it's at a good slime consistency. Once you can kind of stick your fingers into the slime and it's not going to just stick like glue all over your fingers, then you're starting to get in the right direction and then you could go ahead and start kneading it and working uh, the slime together. Once your slime is in good form, I'm just going to smooth out the top and you want to let it sit. I've seen people say you have to let it sit for three days. I find if you stick it in the refrigerator for one day, it works great. Once the top starts getting a little crunchy, we are good to go. Once you're done breaking your iceberg, you could remix all your slime together and let it sit and harden again and it'll work just fine. So thank you so much for watching. If you want to see more DIY and slime videos, please don't forget to subscribe and I'll talk to you real soon. Bye!